Welcome back everybody, my name is Blockration and today we're going to be taking a look at a toggable flush with the floor two-way minecart station. This was requested by a other YouTuber named the Redstone Scientist. Now this station works as every other station too, so we can hop in the minecart, press the button and now we have two uh, buttons and they are they indicate the way that we are going so we can go to our destination but we can also return to our origin and the toggle in the name means that you can flick this lever and this lamp indicates that the minecart station is off and that what this is going to do is that you just continue down your path instead of um, stopping at the minecart station. To build the minecart station without the toggle feature, we are going to need a 4 by 7 by 5 space and the floor block is going to be on the fourth block. Now we want to start with a T-junction right here, uh, two from the uh, rail and now we want to just create a T-junction like this Go out two blocks with normal rails and place detector rails on both ends. Then we want to go beneath the T-junction and place a block with a torch on top. Now we want to look at where the T-junction bends to and replace the detector rail with a normal rail. On the other side we want to go below the detector rail place a redstone, then another redstone leading out of uh, that block, and a repeater facing into the block with the redstone torch on top. And now, next to that redstone torch with block, we want to place the same thing that is going to power the powered rail, and place a sticky piston next to that torch with a block on top. Now we want to place a redstone repeater right here that is going to face into the redstone that is going to control the T-junction and place a redstone torch on the block with the repeater. Then we want to place in our floor right here and a sticky piston below that with a block on top. And this is going to activate the T-junction like that. Then lastly we want to activate this uh, torch and for that we are going to need another repeater facing out of this construction leading into a block with a redstone torch on the side that is going to disable this one and do the same on the other side. So place a repeater here facing into the torch with a block and place in the floor with a sticky piston and a block on the face of it. Now you can test this out and it should work in both directions. So first direction is a go and the second one two. Implementing the toggle feature is quite easy. You just want to replicate this on the other side. So place a repeater facing into the T uh, T-junction uh, torch with a redstone before that and another redstone before that and replace this normal rail with a detector rail like that. Then we want to have the option to toggle both of these lines so place a sticky piston on with a block on, on the face of it on both sides that can uh, disable the redstone line by disconnecting them. Then we want to have a shape similar to this one and now we want to have a redstone lamp here, a lever on the side where the junction always faces to, then two redstone on this side like that and a redstone torch like that. And now of the junction is disabled so it just 
uh, should go from this side to that side. But if we enable it like that, we should be able to. Now it's going to go in there again, and now we can disable it once again. And now, after this, it should be normal again, but like that. I hope you can use this creation for your survival needs or other projects that you might have. And uh, for the redstone scientist, uh, he wanted a design that was originally by Siberian Hat, but was uh, not functioning due to hitbox changes. But sadly, I couldn't uh, make that function again, so I came up with this. But uh, that's it for today. I ho if you did enjoy, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And I hope to see you all in the next video.